Hey, what's up? So now we can start talk about some concepts in Redux in the context of React. So the first one, which we already used, uh, is the map state to props function. This is the first argument to the connect function, which connects a specific component with the store. So this is the first argument, and this is the map state to props. So let's try to make it a little bit more clean. So map state to props. This function accepts two arguments. The first one is the state. This is the whole Redux state, the whole store as an object. And the second argument is called on props. And let me console log on props like this. And this map state to props function should always retain an object. So let's try, let's try to use it here. So map state to props. Uh, this now will break because we need to retain our to dos like this. So the component can destructure them from the props, right? So let's do it. So to dos in the object will be like this state to to dos. Let me format the document really quick. So yeah, this now should work as usual. So I can do anything. Uh, it will still work. And I can delete as well yeah so but this only probes destroy uh, let's go to the console and try to look at it it should be an empty object always this is because if you pass an props here when you inject your component in your JS axe so for example I can pass name or words and object will be uh, equal to object with a name, my name, and age 22. This only props will be the original props passed to the component. So as you can see, we have them here right now, right now, which is very nice. Uh, this is a really powerful way. If you want to use your props or your the original props inside the map state to props function, you can do this. Uh, like you can do that like this, which is very nice. You might ask, what's the point? Uh, maybe you will face a case, or what I usually see people do, sometimes uh, you will pass data like this, maybe you'll pass some ID, and this ID is a key from the state that points to something, so you can do this. So state on props.id. So you can return something from the state if this is a key for it or stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the map state to props there you need to know three things about it it should always return an object it accepts the first argument the whole state the second argument is the original props passed to the component when you are uh, injected inside your JSX and uh, that's basically it for this function but this connect function accepts four arguments we will talk uh, about the next one in the next video yeah thank you